Hello, in this video we're going to evaluate the sum of 1 to the k, 2 to the k, all the way to p minus 1 to the k mod p. And the answer is in fact 0 or negative 1, depending on whether p minus 1 divides k or p minus 1 does not divide k. For example, if p is 101, which is a prime, then the sum of 1 to the k all the way to 100 to the k is 0 if 100 does not divide k, it is negative 1 if 100 does divide k. If you stick to the end of this video, I will give you an extension of this. So here's how I'm going to deal with that. So this is not a, an arithmetic sum. This is not a geometric sum. It's a more complicated sum that is difficult to evaluate. You can find some form of a recursion for the sum of uh, kth powers of uh, consecutive integers and in fact there is a solution using that technique and if you know what that solution is if you're able to come up with that solution put it in the comment section of this video instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to turn this into a geometric sum the way we deal with that is that we're gonna use a very important fact from number theory which is if you take integers mod p there is a primitive root so what does that mean it means if you look at the uh, the set 1 g g squared all the way to g to the power of p minus 2 there is some g that this set is exactly the same as the set 1 2 all the way to p minus 1 and of course this is mod p so what does that mean it means there's an element inside zp there's an integer mod p whose order is p minus 1. And if you're not comfortable or familiar with the idea of order, I have a, a video on order also, which I'll put the link in the description, and I'll put the link on the upper right corner of the screen as well. So how do we deal with this now? Now that we know the element is going to give us all the numbers from 1 to p minus 1, we could say that the sum of j to the power of k, j equals 1 to p minus 1, is the same as the sum of g to the power of lk and this l ranges from 0 to p minus 2 because the set of g to the power of lk is the same as the set of j to the power of k now the nice thing about this quantity is that it is in fact a geometric sum so i can write it down as 1 which is the first term minus the term after the last term that's the formula for geometric sum term after the last term is g to the power of p minus 1k divided by 1 minus g to the power of k this is if g to the power of k is not 1 now if g to the power of k is not 1 the numerator becomes 1 minus g to the power of p minus 1 to the k over 1 minus g to the power of k g to the power of p minus 1 is 1 so that would be just 0. Now, when does g to the power of k become 1? g to the power of k is 1 by properties of order whenever order of g divides k. And again, this is explained in the video that I put in the description. And this is the same as p minus 1 dividing k. So if p minus 1 does not divide k, then the sum is 0. Now, what happens if p minus 1 divides k? p minus 1 divides k, then g to the power of lk is always just 1, which means the sum of g to the power of lk, l ranges from 0 to p minus 2, is equal to all of the terms are 1, so that would be p minus 1. And that gives us that the sum of g to, j to the power of k is the same as the sum of g to the power of lk, which is 0 or p minus 1, if p minus 1 does not divide k and if p minus 1 divides k and this l ranges from 0 to p minus 2 and of course j ranges from 1 to p minus 1 which is exactly what we wanted to prove at the beginning now an extension of this uh, equality is in a finite field so try this one out let f be a finite field with n elements and let k be an integer then the sum of x to the power of k when x ranges over all elements of f except for 0 is going to be n minus 1 or 0 depending on whether n minus 1 divides k or n minus 1 does not divide k so the fact that you want to use here is that if you look at f minus 0 this is a multiplicative group and in fact it is cyclic in other words there is an element of order n minus 1 in that group and if you use that you'll get a geometric sum and basically the same thing would apply my focus on this channel is walking through 
problems, talking about ideas behind getting to solutions. So if you are interested in that, feel free to check out the rest of the videos on this channel. And I will see you in another video.